I thought we had a really crappy parking pass, but then we got here and the Lambo has to park in the same lot as us. So maybe this is a VIP lot. Yes. A thousand times, yes. Do you get to see some very cool cars when you're here in Dubai? Welcome to the Dubai Autodrome. We're here for round three of the Asian Le Mans series. If you've been subscribed to this account, you've probably seen the recap video I did for rounds one and two in Sepang in Malaysia back in December. Now we continue with round three and then rounds four and five will be next weekend just down the road in Abu Dhabi at the Yas Marina circuit. So far it's been a pretty low key race event. I just got in on Wednesday. I'm jet lagged as hell after doing the 24 hours of Daytona. So I'm also tired from that and then 12 hours of flying. I've been here for a couple of days already shooting some private testing and practice. Today we have one practice and then qualifying for the four hour race tomorrow and it's a really important championship because the champions of LMP2 and GT3 will both get an entry at this year's 24 hours of Le Mans so it's a huge grid and there's a lot to play for. Personally this weekend I only have three cars to worry about. I have the two cars from Optima Motorsport and then I have a driver in an LMP3 car so it's a pretty low-key weekend for me. The sessions have felt really long because I've only had to shoot three cars but We've got another practice coming up now. I've got the gimbal. We're gonna start out in pit lane. So let's hop into it. Give me your gloves. Huh? Give me your gloves. Like, did they, were they white at one point? No. Because the rules, the rules in my championship you have to have white gloves. I've actually got some white gloves. Because then we can see your hands on the steering wheel. Although your guy's windscreen is hopeless because it's got the treatment on it. So when we shoot it, you can't even see in the car. Really? It just looks all weird. The Mercs, like you can see right in the car. I think, it's like a bit more. I think so. Yeah, it just looks cool. It just looks weird. Yeah, these are replaced. Yeah, we've seen better days. start this pit lane session, one of the things I haven't really talked about uh, is the safety gear. So you'll notice I'm wearing a full fireproof suit or fireproof overalls as they call it the rest of the world and a helmet. I've stylishly put my helmet over top of my hat because I think it looks cool. Actually I just forgot to take my hat off. It's actually a new helmet for this year. It's white. I figured I'd try a white one out. It'll get very dirty. But yeah, we have to wear a full fireproof suit and a helmet anytime that we're past line of the garage on the ground right there. So you can stay in the garage. You don't have to wear it, but if you uh, want to go get to the high pit lane, you have to wear all of this stuff, which right now it's decent weather. It's not too hot, but at Le Mans in June or last year here where it was a million degrees or back in Malaysia in December, it's not fun. It's awfully sweaty, but safety first. So those are the rules. You do this side first, and then you go to the other side? Hit. You can get whacked with a tire, you can get in the way of a pit stop. 
same team here, right? It's important to just know what's going on, keep your head on a swivel, even if you're just going to walk out, always be paying attention. Uh, it's hard to show you during the uh, hip stop, but I'm always going like this. Session. It's so strange only having three cars in stark contrast to Daytona last week where I had 13. So the sessions are so long, 90 minutes when you only shoot three cars is an eternity. So I have so much footage. I just basically hung out in the box the whole time there and just got, you know, different interesting stuff with the gimbal, just tried something new. So it's kind of nice actually to have a more low key uh, race weekend and be able to just try some different things and just have fun. We're just doing a lot of like trending real content for Instagram and whatnot. So. It's cool. Well, I'm gonna head into the media center now. We'll uh, do some editing. team is huge because then you don't have to worry about bringing food with you or running out to the store to grab anything. Now there is a main strip here not far from the track you can walk to and there's some restaurants there but still that 10-15 minutes walking there and back you know every moment is crucial to be at the track you don't want to be eating up time you know it's time I could spend editing so being able to just run up to the catering and grab something is great. I'm gonna head back to the media center now and uh, keep cutting up some more clips and then we're gonna have qualifying in about an hour's time so I'll probably be down in the box about a half hour before qualifying starts so about in a half hour so get a few more shots of uh, drivers getting ready to go for qualifying. Here in the Asian Le Mans series the bronze driver has to do the qualifying so bronze rated be an amateur driver. They're typically the slower driver because they're an amateur but it makes it a little more interesting. It makes the AM be more important because they have to do the quality and they have to drive the most of the race. So in GT that AM driver has to do an hour and a half of the four hours. So it's great to have a quick bronze. much already done. I'm just gonna pack up now and it's 3.50 p.m. which is incredibly rare to be leaving the track at that time but just got some edits prepped for tomorrow and I might do a little bit more uh, prep work when I get to the hotel tonight. Sometimes I'll just be you know sitting there at my laptop and I'll think of things so I'll put some things together but pretty good today. I feel good about what I've shot. I've had so much time with all the sessions so I think uh, we're where we need to be. I feel good and yeah, we'll hop into a four hour race tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Good morning. Let's go to the Dubai Autodrome. It's weird because like last year when we did this, it felt like it was a really long drive, but this year it's felt really short. But when you're in Dubai, everything is like six off ramps away from where you need to be. Like the other side of the road, like it's right there. It's like a 20 minute drive. Always. Like you want to get to your airport hotel, you have to take a cab because it looks like this far on Google Maps. It's a 20 minute drive. So it's the one downside of Dubai. Weather's very nice today though. 
Morning, boss. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm good, boss. Amazing. You guys are looking good this morning. Thank you very much. You now as well. To Dubai Auto Drop. Yes. We'll see you later. Have a good day, boss. You too. <laughs> That guy's amazing. He's like the track's mascot. It's unreal. All right, so all set up in the media center. And uh, honestly, the grid's gonna open in like 40 minutes time. So we're gonna start getting ready, debating whether to take my gimbal or not. I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna take my FX6 because I don't really wanna haul my gimbal around uh, onto the pit lane. So uh, we're gonna take our scooters uh, under the tunnel underneath the track. Um, and then like through the tunnel uh, out to the opposite side of the speedway. So we can leave our scooters there, shoot the grid, and then just pop through the fence there, the hole in the fence, grab our scooters, and then go trackside to shoot the start. I think I'm gonna shoot the start from uh, top of the grandstand, do a diff something different rather than going to turn one, because it just, turn one starts, especially here, you're very far from the cars and they're like breaking hard into one. So for video, it's not really a great, star shot so i think we're just gonna do uh, top of the grandstands where the cars are at full speed so we'll give that a go but yeah head down to the grid um throw fireproof overalls on and probably just wear those for the majority of the race luckily today in dubai it's not too hot like i said before pretty good weather it is sunny though but uh, not not too hot thankfully so yeah then I'll uh, basically shoot uh, for a majority of the first part of the race track side and then um, just focus on pit stops and then some artsy stuff. I have all the basic stuff that I need, so I'll just focus on some art for some of these edits. And uh, yeah, that should pretty much be it. Hopefully get all the driver changes and God willing, we'll be on the podium at the end of the day. All right, all set up. Scooter stashed over there. I'm gonna shoot the start from up top in the grandstands and then uh, we'll head to the grid shortly and get a few shots on the grid. It's gonna be a pretty quick grid, I think, by the time the cars roll off, but luckily I don't have to rush too much uh, to my position to shoot the start. So uh, that's always a bonus. So it's gonna be a hectic day. It's gonna be warm, but the breeze is nice and my fireproof suit already and everything. But uh, yeah. Look forward to it. It's nice to just have one race here in Dubai. Last year we had uh, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. The Saturday one was delayed by a couple hours. And then, uh, yeah, it was really late nights, but race goes one till five. Unfortunately, there probably won't be very good light as it ends before sunset, but uh, it's all right. Get through it, shoot some pit stops, get some good content. That's what matters. Hello. Good eye. Good eye, how are you? Great. Fantastic. Can you f Michael Jordan? Or what? Huh? Carolina Blue and everything? <laughs> you don't like them. They match my no, socks. I, baby. I, I, I do like them. No, they don't match your socks. The blue's wrong. Well, I tried to match them, okay? I promise you I tried. It's going to affect your performance on track. <laughs> I might keep them on, but the right. So, as per usual, uh, I've already changed my mind and I'm going to shoot the start from uh, against the fence right here. So, I'm going to get a panning shot as they come down into the first turn because I was talking with Sam DeHaan and he reckons, as the British say, that uh, there's gonna be some carnage in the first turn. And I think this is gonna be a good vantage point to get that rather than shooting it from where most people are, over there, uh, up in the grandstands. So we we'll start here. Uh, also totally forgot to turn my body cam on to show you the drive up here, but I'm gonna drive my scooter down from the grid where we parked them. I had to get off the grid earlier than I wanted to. Uh, we got kicked off. Actually, I got kicked off by the race director. I was like, just, just like 10 seconds. He was like, no, go. I was like, all right, that's fine. It's supposed to be off. You try and argue, just say, can I just take 10 seconds more? But hey, we gotta get off the grid, we gotta get off the grid. So, ready for the race start now? Should be a good one. Four hours of racing here in Dubai. So there was some carnage on the start, just around turn one there into turn two. Uh, we got a stricken car, it did get going. Unfortunately, one of my McLarens is moving slowly now. So yeah, 
There was some carnage. I'll have to take a look at the footage after and see. Um, yeah, that's really unfortunate. And we have full course yellow. So, all right, full course yellow. I think I'll stay here until the restart and get a few more shots. But yeah, that's really rough, unfortunately, um, with the yellow one now, uh, now with some damage already in turn one. <sighs> you feel for your clients, you know? It sucks. So I just got word that they've unfortunately retired car number 69. Not nice. So down to just two cars now uh, in this race, uh, which, you know, you think about it, like I said before, you really feel for your clients. It makes my day a little bit simpler because I only have two cars to shoot, but for all the wrong reasons, unfortunately. So yeah, it sucks. You know, I wish I still had all three out there because you want to see your clients do well, but uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. So I don't really know what else to say, it really sucks. this week uh, and next week and then at Bathurst as well. It's what I brought on this trip. The Daytona last week was the 200 F2.8 with a teleconverter. But here in this championship, we have very little night running and we have very little night running at Bathurst, just that first hour. In the so I went for the longer 100 to 400 because it has a little bit more precise focus uh, in manual mode rather than the 200, 70 to 200 with the teleconverter on. That's why I made that decision. A few more shots here and then I'm basically going to be done trackside shooting for the race. I'm just going to head to the pit lane and get the last two pit stops. All right, so a bit of a quick pit stop in the media center. I actually switched gear over. Now the 69 car is out. I no longer need a lot of 16 by 9 stuff. Everything else is vertical, so I'm going to switch to the smaller camera. I'm just going to shoot the rest of the afternoon vertical. And like I said, I'm pretty much going to spend the whole time in the pit lane because I have so much track size stuff from all the testing, so the deliverables I have, I'm good to basically just use uh, all of that. So I'll get these last two pit stops, go down to the LMP3 car, get Seth suiting up and getting in, because I need that. And then I could go out again and just do like some artsy type stuff, but I think I'm just going to stay in the pit lane and even start editing. So unfortunately the 69 car is the pits right over here.
back in the meeting center now and essentially just give a start editing uh, until uh, the final pit stop. Go out, shoot that final pit stop, come back, start editing, and see what we're doing. It's like uh, LMP3 car I have right now. There's only four LMP3 cars running competitively right now, so it looks like uh, it's going to be on the podium. So we have the team celebration and then we'll shoot the podium. But for now, just get some edits done and get ahead on a few things and make my final pit stop. Sixteen laps to go, and there's a safety car, so they might come in now as they start to cycle through. It's close on making it on the final pit stop, depending how much or how long this yellow flag is. So I'm gonna head to the pits now because they might come in for that final stop. It also closes everything up, and it's gonna be quite the fight now to the finish. It's game on because it bunches everybody back up and gets them, you know, nose to tail for the restart. So it'll be like an hour sprint finish now. actually shot it from the flag stand, which was cool. Different angle, but you know, 400 millimeter is a little bit far, but worked all right. So now I'm just gonna finish my edit here and hopefully be out of here pretty quick. So it's 540. It's really bothering me at how good the light is outside right now. Beautiful sunset and the race is already over. So kind of lame. I wish we ran through sunset here. We get beautiful sunsets in the Middle East and 
this just seems criminal to not run the race through sunset. But uh, for whatever reason, with track scheduling and all that, the race ended at five. So is what it is. Next week in Yas, we'll have great light, hopefully, for both races. They both go from four until eight. So we're pretty much going to start with the lights amazing. So looking forward to that. But yeah, we'll get these edits done. And that's uh, pretty much it. We'll see you, uh, I guess, when we're back at the hotel. You know, the funny thing is I had to come in here and set the camera up and then make it look like I was walking through the door. So next time your favorite YouTuber does something like that, just remember that they first walked into the house, set a camera up, then went back outside and walked back in. Anyway, um, so back at the hotel now, as you can see, it's weird because it's 20 after eight, race down in three hours ago, usually we'd just be leaving now, but one car retired. I made a little bit of content from my other two cars. Everyone was happy. It's just weird to already be done and not really have anything to do. So uh, we have two days off now. I'm gonna just do some admin stuff. I'm gonna do some editing of uh, a couple of vlogs for you guys. And yeah, that's basically it. It was a pretty low key weekend at the Dubai Autodrome. Not one of my favorite circuits to shoot because of the fencing and everything else. And we didn't get a sunset because we didn't race through sunset. I feel like I've mentioned that like 40 times, but it's really upsetting. So. Um, it is what it is. It was a pretty decent weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, you know, if you're still watching, I really appreciate, you know, every single one of my subscribers that checks out my videos and I have a really cool job. I love what I do. I'm really passionate about it and I love sharing that with all of you. So please let me know down in the comments below what you'd like to see me do next, you know, any ideas you have and just some general feedback on these videos because I want to make sure that I can make, you know, everything as best I can for you guys, whatever you guys want to see. So just uh, let me know in the comments below. Again, like, share, subscribe. If you want a cool hat like this, use my discount code mark10 at lockdownbrand.com and pick one up. It's not sponsored by Lockdown Brand. This video is not sponsored by Lockdown Brand, but again, I do get a small commission and you get 10% off. So it's win-win. Yeah, thanks again, everybody, for coming along to the Dubai Autodrome. We're off to Yas Marina Circuit in Abu Dhabi next weekend. I'll see you there.